Today, there are several large hydropower projects being implemented in Turkey. We are going to talk about two of them today. Let's start with a hydroelectric dam under construction on the Kuraki River in the Black Sea province of Artvin, and also show how the Turks are building the largest suspension bridge in the world. The work on the huge hydroelectric power plant is now almost complete. Unfortunately, at the end of the work, the town of Yusufeli, located 8 kilometers or 5 miles from the dam under construction, will have to go underwater. It should be said that since ancient times people have been building structures designed to stop the flow of water, which is then used in agriculture. However, the dams built earlier differ from modern structures in their more modest size. Today's structures are truly a marvel of engineering and technology. They include huge cement walls with sluices and gates that are built across rivers. At the same time, the higher the dam, the greater its reserve capacity. As for the Yusufeli Dam, its height will be 270 meters, and it will become the highest in Turkey and seventh in the list of the highest dams in the world. It belongs to the concrete arch type. The construction of the dam was started on December 21, 2012. The Yusufeli Dam will be the second largest dam in the larger Kuraki River development plan, which plans to build 13 dams, of which two are in operation and two more are under construction. The main purpose of the dam is the production of hydroelectric power, and it will support a 540 megawatt power plant. The dam is controversial due to its predicted impact on biodiversity within its reservoir, along with the relocation of local residents. If we talk about a hydroelectric power plant, it will produce 1.9 billion kilowatt hour, with a total capacity of 558 megawatts. By the way, this will be enough to meet the needs of 650,000 people. The new hydropower dam, built in the northeastern Turkish province of Arfin, will add over $221 million annually to the economy. The dam was built entirely by Turkish engineers. Located 70 kilometers or 44 miles southwest of Arfin, Yusuf Ali will be a double-curved arch dam with a height of 270 meters from the base and 223 meters from the lowest point of the river. It will also have a crest length of 490 meters and a crest width of 15 meters. At the same time, it will consist of 4 million cubic meters of concrete. For comparison, the same amount is needed to build 50,000 houses. The crest of the dam will be at an altitude of 715 meters above sea level, while the normal operating level of its reservoir would be 710 meters and the maximum would be 712 meters, and the minimum is 670 meters. The reservoir area is 33 square kilometers and will have a total storage capacity of 2 billion cubic meters. The active or useful storage will be 1 billion cubic meters. The dam spillway will be a spillway chute with a maximum capacity of 8,000 cubic meters. The dam will have an underground power plant 110 meters long, 21.4 tenths of a meter wide, and 45.2 tenths of a meter high. Inside the power plant will be installed three Francis turbines with a vertical shaft of 110 megawatts. In a dam project where 6,500 cubic meters of concrete is poured over three overhead lines a day, water will begin to be stored and power generation will already begin. Final inspections of the dam are already underway before it officially starts working. A special system has been installed on the construction site for the giant construction equipment. With the help of a cable crane system installed from slope to slope, tons of construction equipment are transported through the air. When the Yusuf Ali Dam begins to fully operate, it will produce 560 billion kilowatt hour of electricity per year. At an installed capacity of 1 in 9 megawatts, this production figure means meeting the annual energy demand of a large city like Antalya. With the commissioning of the Yusuf Ali Hydroelectric Dam, the country's hydroelectric power generation capacity will increase by 2%. The dam, which can be described as an engineering marvel, will be inherited in the future as a gigantic work, showing that the Turkish people can do anything. The project not only built a dam, but also 110 kilometers, 68 miles of roads, as well as 45 tunnels, 22 bridges, and 92 culverts. It is expected that the project will bring $83.5 million annually to the economy of the country and will pay for itself within seven years. The Dardanelles has always been a critical point for Turkey. This section is 120 kilometers or 75 miles long, and only 4 kilometers, 2.5 miles wide. It connects the Black Sea with the Mediterranean Sea. The Dardanelles opens up a waterway for resource-rich countries to the rest of the world. 
together with the neighboring Bosphorus Strait, the Dardanelles, serves as the border between Europe and Asia. Despite its importance, the continents until 2022 were united by only three bridges and two tunnels. All of them were in Istanbul, which caused big traffic jams, both on water and on land. For the first time, the Turkish authorities tried to solve the problem and build a bridge in 1988. However, due to a number of political and economic reasons, development was frozen in 1995. More than 20 years later in 2016, the Turkish government restarted the project. A year later, the contract was won by a local consortium of construction companies and two South Korean corporations. Construction began in September 2017. A couple of kissons were loaded to a depth of 40 meters. Special waterproof supports. The weight of each of them leaves 59,000 tons. To resist earthquakes, they were equipped with steel frames, and special platforms made of the same material were placed on top. On each of them, a base for a bridge with a height of 318 meters was placed. Chenakalib 1915 bridge with a central span of 2023 20, meters is a candidate for the title of suspension bridge, with the largest average span in the world. The total length of the bridge is 4,608 meters. Each of the steel cables is said to contain 126 wires, which form the main ropes of the Shanakala Bridge, a total of about 162,000 kilometers, 100,000 miles of wire and 296 steel cables, each 4,330 meters long, were used to form the main cables. The length of wire used in steel cables is 40,000 kilometers, about 25,000 miles, which is four times the boundaries of the Earth. The bridge and highway construction project includes one suspension bridge, two access viaducts, four reinforced concrete viaducts, six underground bridges, 38 overpasses, five bridges, 43 underpasses, 115 culverts of various sizes, 12 intersections including the crossing on the national highway, four road facilities, two maintenance and operation centers. Chenakalib Bridge 1915 is characterized by the following. Its length is 3,860 meters, and the distance between the two column towers is 2,223 meters, as well as six lanes, three there and three back. This type of bridge is the longest in the world. Chenakala Bridge 1915 reduces the travel time between the two banks to six minutes by car, instead of the hour and a half that was previously required to cross ships. The bridge rests on two bases, 333 meters long on each side. At the same time, the height of its towers is 318 meters, which is higher than the height of the Eiffel Tower, which is 300 meters. The total annual savings will be $85 million. The lower part of the roadbed rests about 70 meters above the water, which allows free passage under the bridge for large ocean-going vessels. The area where the bridge is located is marked by problems such as high winds, high seismic activity and multi-tiered container ships that need to be taken into account. Strong wind is always critical for a suspension bridge with a long span. To ensure the aerodynamic stability of the bridge, a double-hull beam was adopted. As mentioned earlier, very large container ships and cruise ships pass under the bridge, so the design took into account the risk of collision with ships. The foundation and supports of the bridge are on the seabed at minus 45 meters on the Asian coast and minus 37 meters on the European coast. This mega-construction project was implemented in record time, just four years. The total cost of the project reached 2 billion and 545 million euros. In the construction of the Chenakala Bridge 1915, which for the first time will connect the European and Asian coasts of the Dardanelles, 5,100 people were involved, as well as 740 units of construction equipment. The bridge across the Dardanelles will allow Turkey to save 415 million euros per year only on fuel and emissions. According to experts' estimates, the positive economic effect of the bridge across the Dardanelles on the Turkish industry will reach about 5.5 billion euros per year. 118,000 jobs will be created, and GDP will increase by 2.4 billion euros. But the most important thing is that the Çanakkale Bridge 1915 will become an alternative and, moreover, a shorter route from Istanbul to the southeastern regions of the country. It will also allow the development of international tourism, reduce the delivery time of goods from the west and northwest of the country to these regions, and it will ultimately facilitate transportation between Asia and Europe, because trucks, tourist buses and cars will no longer have to queue for ferries that transported them through the Dardanelles to the Asian part of Turkey and back.
Write in the comments, are you impressed with these Turkish mega projects? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Karo Show channel. Also watch our previous videos. Goodbye.